The amplitude or the size of a vibration can be expressed with three parameters. Peak to peak, zero peak, and RMS. All three parameters are used when performing vibration measurements and each of them has its own added value. This added value will be covered in detail in later modules during this training. For now, it is important to understand the relation between these parameters. The peak-to-peak -peak or top value indicates the maximum result of the vibration. The peak-peak value indicates the difference between the maximum positive and maximum negative amplitudes of a vibration waveform. This is a useful value when measuring moving machine parts where the displacement is not allowed to exceed a certain value, as this will result in mechanical stresses or machine damage. Examples of this are shaft vibrations, both radial and axial vibrations, and axial shaft displacements. 2. The zero peak value for a sinusoidal signal is half the value of a peak to peak value. Basically, this value is used when the peak peak value has no added value for the signal evaluation. The zero peak value can be used to indicate single, one off, or short events, such as shocks and impacts. This value can also be used to register pure harmonic sinusoidal motions. The RMS value, root mean square, also known as effective value, is the most common way to express a vibration level. For a purely harmonic movement, the RMS value is one-half times the square root from the zero peak value or one-fourth times the square root from the peak-to-peak -peak value. In short, for sinusoidal shaped amplitudes, the RMS value is 0 0.707 times the zero peak value or 0 0.353 times the peak peak value. The peak peak value is 2.82 times the RMS value and the zero peak value is 1.414 times the RMS value. The peak peak value is twice the zero peak value for sinusoidal shaped signals.